Right guys, well we're going to change stuff up on this video and I'm going to be doing a review. So uh, I managed to get my hands on a Nash Camo Hide Pro. So my local tackle shop managed to get one in. So apparently there's some issues with getting them out. But um, yeah, one was received and I decided to take that. So I thought that, well, while I've got it, I might as well do a review on it and open in the box review. And hopefully that my findings on it might help one of you guys make your decision on if it's the right type of shelter for you. So we're going to go over and have a look at everything that's involved with it. And um, hopefully, yeah, it will help you on your future purchase or non-purchase of the item. So this is not a um, paid review or nothing like that. I've literally just got older one for myself and I thought, why not show it off? So we're going to unbox it for the camera so you can see that I've got no prior knowledge of it and I'm seeing it exactly like you guys. So yeah, let's go over and take a look. So as you can see, this uh, bivy is still in the box. Unopened, sides. This is exactly how I've got it from the store. And we're going to open it up and we're going to have a look. I have bought the extras as well. So we're going to have a look at those extras and can see all the bits that go with it. So this small little bag. Now when I think about what I'm usually carrying when I go fishing, <laughs> this little thing's really light. So yeah, it literally weighs nothing, to be honest, compared to most of the stuff that I use. So other than my little atom, little atoms definitely lighter than this but yeah I think they say this weighs 6.5 kilo uh, that's without all the add-ins so yeah that's what we're looking at on this but yeah so far so good on weight definitely right well there's loads of room inside this bag as you can see look at that we'll get another you'll probably get definitely all your stuff inside this um, all the extras that come with it so if you've got the ground sheet the infill panel and a mozzie mesh which is what I've got over there which we're gonna have a look at um, I think you'll get them in with no problem and still do the bag up fine we're gonna try that because I don't just want to say yeah it's gonna happen so we're gonna give that a go later because um, some people want to put it all in one bag some might not but that will cover everyone's idea of what they want to do with the bivy while it. Right, now all that's left to do is have a go at putting this up and see how quick we can do it. So let's do it in real time with a timer and we'll see how quick this uh, goes up for me. Bearing in mind, this is my first time doing it straight out of the box. And uh, yeah, so hopefully it's quick. Right, well, as you can see, I had to take the packaging off first. I totally forgot about that around the uh, spreader block. So that's all off now. And now we're gonna see how long it takes to put this up. So bearing in mind, this is my first time of doing this. It's straight out of the box, no practice. Let's get this up. Right guys, well as you can see, behind me, it's up. There's a few little glitch, sort of technical hitches there for me really. Um, it's new, so where it's new, the joins on the arms are a lot more stiff on the poles. So as you're pushing it in, um, the coating, the black coating on the poles seems to be pretty thick. So you've got to really sort of, yeah, give it some to get in. Also, the fabric on the top, um, around the poles where you gather, which I will show you, that is very new, I'm guessing. So 
it's giving it quite a bit of resistance until that flexes well, this is what i'm hoping obviously i am literally talking here straight out of what i'm seeing so i can only be as honest as i can on the review and say these are the things that i'm seeing now as for the restriction on when i was pulling round from the spreader block with the uh, poles obviously these are all gathered so there there's going to be some sort of resistance when you've got a lot of thickness and it's uh brand new out of the box so we're gonna give it a few times of putting it up and hopefully that will resolve um yeah but it does look a lovely lovely bit of kit in fairness so far got your uh magnetic rod straps which is a lovely touch nice rubberized got some really nice uh, embossed logo there in the block where your poles come in at the front over the peak as we walk around we've got uh, four rear vents and side vents here so one on each side and two in the back and we'll open these up a bit later so we can have a full look at them so what am i thinking on this size wise to be fair it's bigger than i thought so it's uh considering it's like a little tardis it's definitely looking to be a bit more room than i thought so uh i'm gonna get the bed chair out as well and we're gonna stick that in there and uh see just how much room we've got in front of our feet to put your bits because i know that's a deal breaker for a lot also we have got this uh, tension bar to go on a peak so let's have a go at whacking that in there well i think that's right <laughs> i might have buggered that up from not looking at the instructions but i do think that that is right Looks right. Right, having a wee look inside there, you can see your rear vents there at the back. And then up there, you've got your vapor shield, also in that nice camo. And you've also got a little hook straight in the middle for hanging your, your lights on, etc. So, I've got to admit, this is a, a very nice bit of kit so far so the material itself is absolutely lovely right well, should have probably done this first but we've got a tension strap so that's now together Well, as an extra, uh, Nash are also offering a ground sheet for the hide. And this is it, still wrapped, ain't for that. But we're gonna have a look at this and see what it's like for quality, uh, how the fit is, and hopefully it's all good, because so far I'm liking it. Right, by um, putting the ground sheet down inside the bivvy after it's up, I know that's gonna seem very backwards, but it's to uh, check ease of putting it in to the same size as what the bivvy has gone up with the tension strap on. So I have my reasons, they may seem dodgy, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> now this ground sheet is very thick, so yeah, it is a very thick and rubberized ground sheet for sure. So no issues with that for me. sheet in there so it's a little bit folded up where it's just come out the back but it's a good fit all round so I'm pretty happy with that fits right to the front 
no issues, easy. So all good, good ground sheet. You can see I've now stuck my tracker oval bed chair in there just to try and get a scope for how much room we get left with. And I've got to say that for such a small little shelter, there's actually quite a bit of room in there. And uh, it's definitely, I'd say, on par size-wise with my Tracker Tempest Advanced Brolly. So if you know the size of that, then you'll know the size of this. Um, but we'll go over and I'll show you just how much room is there on either side and in front of the bed chair itself with the bed chair pushed right to the back of the bed. So you've got plenty of room either side of your bed chair to put bits and bobs like your bags, cool bags, bait boats, anything that's sort of a bit big that needs to go down the sides. Same for the other side, down there, plenty of room. So that for me is absolutely spot on perfect. So opening up one of these vents, um, give yourself a lot more airflow in the summer. You can see there, they've got a lovely camo print to be honest on, on the mesh itself as well. So it's probably quite hard to see on the video, but there's a yeah, really nice camo print on it. Looking from this side, then vents are open, but you can't actually uh, straight away tell to be honest with that camo mesh you could definitely see that now but it, yeah it blends in really nice so so now we've got two of the uh rear vents side vents open so one up there top of the bed one down here to the back and as you can see that's definitely increasing light into the hide so we'll go now and we'll uh, have a look at this from the outside. So yeah, that's the uh, side vent. So there's, uh, on the right side, opened up the vent. And on the left side there, vent closed. So I'll give you a view of both. But this mesh is uh, really nice. They've done a good job with this. It's a lovely mesh. Just gonna have a closer look at the zip and the velcro there for where you're opening your vents up so everything is really nice very tidy so pulling out there there's your zip and to be honest they're pretty much just like on your sleeping bags with your burst free zips crash zips literally pull that up and that's up and ready no mucking about toggles here for uh holding your rear vent door up all nice and big and nice and strong catch well as you can see give you plenty of room so if you're like me and you're not a perfectionist <laughs> and you just want to whack them up and just do the business of getting some air into your bivvy then yeah you could you could bundle this over quite well well next up to open is the uh, hired camo pro infill panel so let's stick this in and see how this looks as you can see with the infill panel in that bivvy is now complete. No rain is going to get in there. Guess that's really smart as well. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame it ain't next to a lake really and it's in my back garden. But yeah. Right, well, that's it with the infill panel. And I'm sure as time goes on, I'll be able to uh, do a better job with it as well. Making sure that I peg everything out perfectly and it's nice and tall. But um, this is out of the box review and I'm just doing it for the first time. So if I do make any mistakes on this guys, I am sorry, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's trying to show you an honest review of it just out of the box. I don't want to make it too uh, high production 
Let's look at this bivvy like I'm trying to sell it because I'm not. I'm just trying to show everyone a, uh, a review on what I think of it. So, and I've got to admit that I am liking it. I think so far what I'm seeing is good. Time will tell. Um, I'm not seeing any issues with stitching. I'm not seeing any, any issues with any of the zips or anything like that. It's a good size, very good size. The footprint's small, but plenty of room inside. There's not too much that I can, I can pick out as wrong with it. So, that being said, uh, let's move on to the mozzie mesh. Mm. Right guys, well, this part is the uh, mozzie mesh. They call it the Hyde Camo Pro Mozzie Infill. So we've taken the infill waterproof one out. I'm gonna chuck this one in, see how this looks. Off we go. Right, well there she is with the uh, mozzie infill panel. So I haven't pegged it down at the front. It does come with the pegs. I think I might be going a bit far by doing that and I could save myself some dirty pegs. <laughs> well, it's stupid, they're gonna be dirty come the weekend when I take it out. But yeah, all looking good to me. I can't wait to use this if I'm honest now. So I do hope you've enjoyed this review. This is the Nash Camo Pro Hide. So it's only recently been released. Uh, the retail price I believe is around 350 UK pound. The infill waterproof panel I believe is around 60 pound. The mozzie infill is around 50 pound. And the ground sheet I believe is around 60 pound also. So there is slight fluctuations in this online, so don't shoot me. But it's just from some research doing online that I found these prices to be around that, maybe five pound here and there difference. So you're looking retail value probably 520 all in. So that will that will cover your bivy itself, the ground sheet, the mozzie infill for the summer, and the waterproof infill. It's for the well, when it's raining every really, let's face it. So um, yeah, there is probably going to be an overwrap. I can't tell you if there is or not. Um, I can't really see anything about it myself. So if there is, great, because that's going to be great for winter. So we're in winter now and I could have done with that, but I can't see that anywhere. So um, yeah, you might, you might correct me on that. You might have seen it, you might have, but I can't. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you have, it would be great if you can give us a subscribe. Um, and also, put some comments on there if you'd like me to do any more reviews in my videos in the future. Because, to be honest, at the moment, all I've done is vlogs. So, this is all new to me. It might be absolutely terrible. And you'll go, no, mate, leave that alone. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped you decide on if you want to purchase this bivy or not. Um, but... To be honest, I'm very happy I bought it so far. The initial points that I'm seeing are really good and I'm looking forward to using this on the bank. Take care guys, thank you.